This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is one of the most common electronic keypad locks made today. I've seen this used in a variety of different applications, including locking doors, locking heavy machinery and power tools, as well as locking elevators. They're made in China and branded under dozens of company names. For demonstration purposes, I've set this up with an electric strike plate. It opens when either the egress button is pressed from the inside of the door, or the correct code is entered from the outside. That code is currently 1234. Now, bypassing a lock like this can be very simple, but there are pitfalls for the unwary. The most significant of which is the anti-tamper switch on the back. It detects someone removing this plate. Now, the overwhelming majority of the time, that tamper switch will not be connected to anything. Even so, I'll show you how to bypass the switch using a paper clip, because that's what you'll have to do if you need to look at the wiring. However, if you're familiar with how these are wired, and the schematics are readily available online, you'll realize that disabling the switch isn't necessary, and frankly, it's often the hard way in. The easy way requires nothing but my Swiss Army knife keychain. Let me show you how that's done. The first thing we need to do is loosen these two screws. That allows me to look right under the cover plate and find the appropriate contact points. I'm now going to bridge that con contact point to the cover plate and the lock is open. Now without going too much into what I just did, I located the contact point for the egress button. I then bridged it to the cover plate, which connects the circuit and fools this lock into thinking someone on the inside of the door pressed the egress button. Now if this is used in a non-typical installation, you'll need to take a closer look at the wiring, and that may require disabling the tamper switch. So let's do that right now. I'm straightening the paper clip with the exception of a small hook. I'm then going to loosen this just a little bit more and find the spring that is attached to the anti-tamper switch. Okay, I've hooked that spring. Now I'm going to fold the paper clip over and that should allow me to remove these screws without any fear of an alarm going off. Okay, now that I flip this over, we can see the anti-tamper switch. It's connected to a spring that presses on the back of the electrical box. By pulling that spring to the side, I ensured that anti-tamper switch stays depressed and no alarms go off. However, now that I have this out, I see there are no wires going to the anti-tamper switch. That means I can let go of this because there's no internal alarm. I can also now see how this is wired. It's in normally open mode. That means I can bridge some contacts to open the strike plate. I can also trigger the egress button. And I can also do what you saw me do with the Swiss Army knife. And that is touch the egress contact point and bridge it to the cover plate. So, as you can see, if you're familiar with these common keypad locks, bypassing them is a fairly simple task. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.